Okay, so after a few weeks of tweaking, you know, I designed this frame originally over a weekend, but unfortunately there was a lot of tweaking that needed to be done. So we've upgraded to these 3S motors, powered off an entire 3S system, 250 milliwatt Boscam transmitter, multi-wee flip, 1.5 board. And what I ended up doing related to wiring is have two JSTs coming off the main pigtail. One of them goes to my FPV system, just in case I want to pull that transmitter and camera off, and the other goes to the battery. So one battery, 850 milliamp 3S LiPo to power ESCs and motors, as well as the FPV system. So I've yet to maiden this. This is going to be my first. I'll take it up. We'll get some footage of it just flying. I'll bring it down, and then I'll show you guys a little footage from the LCD display. Now I have no idea what sort of flight time this has, so I have the timer going on the Tyrannus, but I'm going to try to keep it fairly minimal just so we don't risk the LVC cut out on the ESCs and having this guy drop out of the air. Okay, the last comment I'll make before we go out is this is a 850 milliamp LiPo and you can see there's quite a bit, bit of space for a larger battery, so I think we could probably go as high as a thousand, maybe, maybe even a 1200 milliamp LiPo. Now there's been a lot of comments about powering both the FPV system and the motors off the same battery. And in that thread, I know Zuki pointed out, he flies with this transmitter and it has an LC filter built in. So what that should do is minimize any sort of interference coming off the power system uh, into the video transmitter. Now we'll actually be able to see that here in a minute. So uh, let's go take a look. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll arm, then I'll take off. Now one thing that I like to do so notice if I hit the throttle, this timer will start, and if I take down, take it down to zero, it'll stop. So I like to use that just to get a good feel for flight time. So we're gonna take it up for about 30 seconds, bring it down, and then we'll do a little FPV. Okay, here we go. Try to keep it in the center of the frame. Handles well. Hovering at about 50%. Sounds like a wee bit of oscillation, but not bad. All right, I'll bring it down and then we'll hook up the FPV receiver. So we have everything wired up and ready to go. See the picture from the H-Quad on here? Now I'm not actually gonna try to fly this FPV. I'm just going to film the screen while I fly line of sight and let you guys see what the picture looks like. So not a bad first go at it. Now, I'll let you guys be the judge. There was a little bit of static. I don't think it had anything to do with interference from the ESCs. When I was flying, this he Zuki's helical fell down. Definitely not the best orientation for good reception. And one other thing that I noticed while flying this, the gains are really a little bit low for this guy. It was pretty sluggish in the air. So I wanna work on dialing those in and maybe even putting the CC3D board in there instead of the multi wee Dimensions are the same, so I could just slap it in there, tune it, and give it a try. But all in all, I'm pleased with the first results. Now, a couple things I want to mention is I didn't get around to actually getting the camera mount completed, so right now it's just a zip tie. I want to work on that. For those that have asked this entire setup with battery, power, FPV gear, everything weighs 320 grams. So next I'll be working on finding the ideal battery to work with this guy, and then doing a true FPV flight. But 
taking it one step at a time. Thanks to all of you who have followed along with your comments and suggestions. I'll be working to finish up that camera mount and get all those posted on Thingiverse here in the next week or two. And until next time, thanks for watching.